Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to configure Zabbix to send alert notifications via Discord. This is a useful solution to get real-time alerts whenever an issue happens in your system. Before we begin, make sure you have a working Zabbix server ready. If not, please check the video linked in the description below to install and set up your Zabbix server first. Next, you'll also need a Discord account, and be ready to log in. Now that we're all set, the first thing we need is a Discord server, the L4A. If you already have one, feel free to skip this step and move on to creating the webhook. Then select Create My Own to make a server for personal use or your team. Select For Me and My Friends. This means you're creating the server for personal use. Then give your server a name, upload an icon if you'd like, and click Create to finish setting it up. Now that we have a server, the next step is to create a dedicated channel for receiving notifications from Zabbix. Click the plus next to Text Channels, select Text Channel. Feel free to name it anything that helps you easily recognize it. Then click Create Channel to finish. Alright, your channel is now ready to go. Next. Click the gear icon settings next to the channel name to open the channel settings. Inside the channel settings, click on Integrations from the left sidebar. In the webhook section, click the Create Webhook button. After creating the webhook, click on the webhook you just created to open its details. Here, you can change the default name if you want for easier identification. Then, copy the webhook URL by clicking the Copy Webhook URL button. This is the address we'll use to configure alerting from Zabbix. Finally, click the Save Changes button to save your webhook configuration. Now, paste your webhook URL into a text file. We'll be using this link shortly when configuring Zabbix. Alright, let's move on to the next step. Return to your Zabbix server. From the Zabbix main interface, click on the Alerts menu on the left sidebar. Next, in the Alerts section, click on the Media Types tab. On the right side, in the list of Media Types, click on the one named Discord. Once the Media Type configuration window appears, scroll down to the bottom. In the parameters list, find the row named Zabbix URL, then copy its value. We'll use this value in the next step. Next, check the enabled option to activate this media type. Finally, click Update at the bottom to save all your settings. Alright, after clicking Update, you'll see that the Discord media type is now marked as Enabled. Next, click on Administrators from Slidebar. Next, click the Macros tab. Click the Add button to create a new macro. Paste the value of the Zabbix URL parameter you copied earlier into the macro field. In the Value field, enter the URL of your Zabbix server. Next, click on the Users to assign the alert method. Select the account you want to configure for receiving alerts. In this case, we'll use the admin account as an example. Next, in the User Edit window, click on the Media tab. In the Media tab, click the Add button to add a new alert method for this user. Under the Type field, make sure you select Discord from the list. In the Send to field, paste the Discord webhook URL that you created and copied earlier.
Make sure the Enabled option is checked to activate this notification method. OK, now click on the Alerts menu from the left sidebar. Next, select Action, then go to the Trigger Actions tab. In the Trigger Actions tab, you can click on the default action. In the Action tab, check the Enable option to activate this action. After enabling the action, switch to the Operations tab. In the Default Operations Step Duration field, enter the time interval between each operation step. In this example, we'll set it to 1 minute, meaning Zabbix will wait 1 minute between alert steps. Next, in the Operations section, click the Edit button. Next, in the Send to Media Type field, select Discord from the list. Then, click the Update button to save the alert operation setup. Next, in the Recovery Operations section, click the Edit button. Here, we'll configure an action to send a notification when a problem has been resolved, such as a message to Discord confirming the system is back to normal. Similarly, let's configure the Update Operations section to send notifications whenever the problem status is updated, such as severity changes or added comments. Finally, click the Update button at the bottom of the Action page to save all your settings, including Alert, Recovery, and Update Operations. That's it! Now. The next step is to test if the Discord notification setup is working correctly. Here I already have a host set up to ping Google for monitoring internet connectivity. Now we'll change Google's IP address to an incorrect one to simulate a connection failure. Then we'll check if the system sends an alert to Discord as configured. Let's wait a bit for the system to detect the problem and start sending alerts. This waiting period is exactly the default operation step duration we configured earlier. In this case, it's set to one minute. All right, Zabbix has successfully sent the alert to Discord checkmark. As you can see, the message uses the default template, which is quite detailed. Now, let's revert the IP address back to the correct one for Google and check if Zabbix sends a recovery notification to Discord. Alright, as you can see, Zabbix has also successfully sent the recovery notification to Discord. This confirms that the entire alerting workflow, from problem detection to recovery, is working smoothly as expected. All right. We've successfully configured Zabbix to send alerts to Discord. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback. Thanks for watching.